Hello and welcome to the first episode in the Peckett Devlog series. In this episode I'm going to be creating the title screen and the main gameplay. So let's get straight into it. I'm going to be creating this game in the widely used engine known as Unity. My plan for the game is to create a 2D scrolling game where you play as a bird and you need to eat worms. There will be power-ups that you can collect but I haven't thought of any yet so please give me some ideas in the comments. The controls will be simple. Hold down space to fly up. If you don't hold down space, you fall. I've been planning the story as well but I'm not going to reveal anything because I don't want to spoil the game. Okay, now let's start programming. So you may notice that the game I'm creating in this episode is very simple and that is for reasons you will discover in our next video. I drew some character art in Photoshop and began making the main menu. I drew a few layers and added a simple parallax effect to create a sort of illusion of depth. Then I added a title with a spinny pecket because Yes. Next, I whipped up a quick song for the title screen and imported it to Unity. I made a play button. It does nothing. I made a quit button. It does something. So that's the main menu done. Let's move on to the options menu. Icon in Photoshop. One line of code. A settings menu. Original music. So, here's what you can do. You can change the volume, the resolution, the brightness, although that's a work in progress, and toggle full screen and windowed mode. It's time. Yes! All Peckett does is fall. It's wonderful. I love it. Best game ever of 2022. Yeah. Yeah, game award of best game ever in the history of mankind. So let's reuse the parallax script from the title screen to make it scroll. Here it is. There we go, it's working. Let's peck it. No, save him, save him. Ah, oh, no, he's falling, he's falling, 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 falling. So falling, now let's code falling. some movement for when you press space. I don't know why, but when making this, my brain just blanked. So say hello to the three lines of code that took me three hours to write. So the game needs some sound effects, so I created some with my sound effects generator. It's for creating 8-bit sort of sounds. And here are the results. But these are terrible, because they're made by me. And that's when I found it. Two discs containing professional library of sound effects. So, next I drew a coin in Photoshop. Then I animated the coin and imported a pixel font to use as the counter for the coin. Then I did some code to add the coin into the game. And look, you can collect them! Because that's usually what you can do with coins, from my experience. So, for your viewing pleasure, this is a clip of me trying to get coins. Next, I drew a pause button in Photoshop and imported it into the game. Then, I made a pause menu. I did some code so either pressing escape or pressing the button will pause the game and you can press resume or escape to resume the game. Afterwards, I made the options button take you to the menu. 
Then I realised how bad the menu was. So, I redesigned it. It's still awful, but at least it's better. So, that's going to be it for this episode. I hope you enjoyed. In the next episode, I'm going to see how complicated I can make the simple game. So make sure to subscribe to ensure you don't miss it. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.